Knowing how storms work begins with knowing the basic parts of a thunderstorm. Once you understand this, you can begin to understand a lot about how and why storms behave the way they do. The first part of a storm you should know is this feature right in front of you. It's called an updraft. The updraft is the fuel center for storms. It's where a storm sucks in the warm and moist air near the surface and lifts it skyward into an unstable atmosphere. As this process plays out, the air condenses into clouds, which you can often see as the brilliant sculpted shapes of a supercell or the more common thunderheads of the warm season. With time, these clouds will begin dumping precipitation, both rain and hail, in a place known as the downdraft. The downdraft is where three of the main severe weather threats originate, large hail, flash flooding, and damaging winds. Identifying the updraft and downdraft on a storm is relatively easy. The cloud you see here, that's the updraft. Being under or near an updraft risks exposure to the biggest hailstones a storm can muster and the possibility of a tornado forming near you. Being in the downdraft also risks hail, damaging winds, and flash floodings. It's best to avoid either part of a storm if you can help it. But a storm is more than just an updraft and a downdraft. Zooming out, we see a unique feature to storms where the updraft tops out in the upper parts of the lower atmosphere. This feature is called an anvil, and it is a signal that an updraft is becoming mature and capable of strong weather threats. Another feature that is relatively common on storms is a lowered area under part of the updraft called a wall cloud. This feature can signal a storm has increasing potential to produce a tornado but only if it is persistent and has increasing rotation in its base over time. Most storms will have a wall cloud at some point in their life cycle. It is only the ones that rotate increasingly over time that are dangerous.